Morning folks, Adam here. Oh dear, it's Sunday again. Um, man, I must be getting boring, huh? That's alright. <laughs> I took a couple weeks off of uh, posting videos, so I figured things would slow down. I haven't been sharing up on the old interwebs, Facebook and such like I uh, previously was. I was busy with the physical work the last couple weeks. Which is good, you know, things are, things are, uh, I think things are stabilizing, I think it's the appropriate term. I haven't arrived, I haven't gotten there. Um, I still make less than a Walmart door greeter. <laughs> uh, that might not be true, but. There have been things going on, things happening though. Um, I mentioned in a couple of these about discussing with a fella building industrial equipment, paint booths, uh, coke ovens. Well, it's uh, it's my kid brother's old man is who it is, <coughs> and he ships these things all over the map. small operation he only does a few of these projects a year because of their their worth you know the guy's never been big on uh, how do you say working hard he's older at this point so yeah he pretty much does enough to uh, maintain his lifestyle which I think is is perfect. That's really, it's really all I want to do, right? I think I think all of us, if we had the opportunity, vision or sight to do so. Um, but anyway, I got word Monday, 3 p.m. I'm supposed to give him a holler. Give him a holler so long as the money's right. Um, we're good to go. I know he had his one welder who is ill now. He won't be back with us. And uh, he had this next project figured this guy could do it. He's coming in like one, two days a week working. <laughs> Have it ready for delivery in 20 weeks. All I'm hearing is I can go up there when I don't have good stuff booked, which could be as many as. Virus database has been updated. Computer's booting up. Uh, I can go up there when we don't have good stuff going. Which would then in turn um, cut out car lot work is what it would wind up doing. Um, car lot work has gotten to the point that uh, the juice just ain't worth the squeeze on those lemons. It just it's so much more effort than it, than it's worth. We've done thousand dollar jobs that have taken up less effort and time than some of these car lot jobs for a couple three hundred bucks <coughs> yeah 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 I know guys charge what you need and move on la di da okay no I hear you I hear you this one car lot in particular they peck the shit out of me and it's rough but I will not make a move on them until next year's spring. If, if these other aspects, uh, the pickup accessory, this welding gig, and just everyday work, walk-in work, restorations, or you know, the the good work that comes in off the road, uh, if those are where they need to be, then until then, I'll squeeze them in if I can. I'm going to push the rates a little bit because all of a sudden I'm busy and in demand, but they're always bringing stuff in. Um, most of the time it's a direct wash. There's a couple of times they tried talking me into doing gigs where what they wanted to spend, I would have lost money. I would have taken money out of my account to put in the shop account to cover the loss on that job. 
I'm only talking the amount of you know twenty to fifty bucks. We're losing money on a job. It's losing money on a job. Um, sometimes that effort can be worth it if there's nothing else to do, and you just need to keep you guys moving. Brought in a part timer. Um, He's doing well. This week I'm going to put together a video for the 67 Mercedes that came in. We're going to move on it slowly. It's going to take over a year to restore. But we're going to move on it slowly because we've got, as soon as that glass goes in, the Monte Carlo, that Le Mans is getting the healthy shove it needs. <laughs> Le Mans has been sitting dormant for too long, and I owe it to that gentleman to get his shit on the block and rolling. With this helper, we can do this. Lickety split. This guy's good. <coughs> and he's horrible at car lot shit, because he does not want to take the shortcuts we gotta take to make anything on the car lot stuff. And that's cool. I actually really respect that. Uh, he lost a little respect for me last week because of the shortcuts we were cutting on this car lot car. I wound up finishing it. I just gave it to him. I want to see where he was at. I wound up finishing it uh, yesterday. And of course, the guy bitched about something or other or else. I'm not even going to get into it. So, again, car lot cars. Juice ain't worth a squeeze on those lemons, and that's all they are. You've seen what Hokey repairs I was willing to record. Let's not even get into the rest of the stuff. But I ran myself to exhaustion. I was worthless Thursday to the guys. Jeremy laughed at me, but I felt rotten because it put us behind. Some of my antics Thursday actually cost us time. Not thinking, being tired and all that shit. Not thinking, I chunked a bumper, had to repaint part of it. Um, that's why those late night sessions I try to avoid. I'm not 20 years old, able to run 36 hours and sleep for four and run 36 more. I don't want to. I just, I don't have any desire to. I mean, it's not like I had a rough day Wednesday, but it stretched out. Because I took the time to hang out and play with my kids and that is why I do this not the other way around other than that you know uh, cool stuff on the horizon like I said restos are moving forward we get where we're caught up on level with what we got hanging here more will show up and it may turn into a situation that all we're doing is taking a couple of days a week, going down the south side, building some industrial gear, <laughs> focusing on the restos and Kent's accessory that we're building. Now with that accessory, the Iowa State Fair is next, starts, not next week, the week after, starts on the 8th. <clears throat> He's got the tail end of a pickup, the last two feet or so, tailgate bedsides, taillights, uh, sounds like what he's bringing me won't have a bumper, which I'm bummed about, I wish he would, uh, I wish he would get me a bumper, that's alright, we can, we can figure something, I can build a bumper for that matter, build some kind of industrial object de art for a bumper, who cares, uh, it's for the, that accessory, it's a step that goes up into the truck to display that. So basically, we get to build uh, a park bench out of a pickup, which would be really cool. The, the tailgate and everything will be functional. That's that's the important thing. It'll be freestanding. The tailgate will be functional, and it'll be able to take a couple hundred pounds out beyond the tongue. So I got to counterweight it and everything, make sure it stands up. And it's got to have proper height 
I can't drop it down to 14 inches like a park bench. So it should be it should be a blast to build. I will record that, so don't you worry about that. Uh, I'm going to try to get Kent on some of this and, and get him explaining his invention and everything. The guy's just, the guy's brilliant. He's got an engineering mind that I haven't got. Um, other than all that, man, you know, stuff's been good. Paint shop got me on a color. I try never to color and never paint anything without seeing the parent vehicle the part's going on. <laughs> and sometimes for one of my very good customers that I will maintain work relations with needs like a bumper cover replaced or whatever. He's a service shop and we do any major body work needs done and then we'll just paint the random bumper cover and send it back. <laughs> Which is fine. Which is fine, but um when you got something like that exact color match is is exact color match is uh Strictly luck if you get it. Uh, black bumper covers. I will. Uh, one thing you gotta you gotta be wary of or be aware of. Primer and sealers come in multiple colors. Why? Because if you're painting something white or silver with black sealer, or you're shooting right over the black plastic molded bumper cover, it will be a different color than if you shot it over a white sealer or even a gray sealer. The sealer, the background sealer will change the value of your color. So you couple that with simple air pressure will change the value of your color. You can bump it up or down a couple pounds depending on the pigment. So when we get darker, the heavier spray it. So when we get darker, the lighter you spray it, the more you turn it back. And there's only, really, there's only about five pounds variance that you've got where you can get the gun where it's shooting like it's supposed to be. <laughs> but it will change the value uh, slightly, enough to match a close paint job type of deal. It just is. People don't think about these things. They think, oh, you got the paint code, you'll paint it, it'll be exact. Bam, no problem. And then, of course, I've got people that lie to me. Again, we're back to the car lot guy. I'm told he's got a $2,500 car. He went and had scanned with the tool to... Because that ain't the right color. And He's trying to explain to me my paint guy screwed up. I said, no. I took that piece of molding in. We matched to that. And we shot it. No, I did go single stage, and that changes the value slightly when you spray it. There's a lot of different variables, folks. And so exact color matches. If you're not like our buddy Darren, who can mix his own, which I've got no concept of mixing paints. I grasp you mix by weight and so forth and so on. But, uh... Um, if you don't have the mixing station right there, you're always going to run into issues on paint matches, especially in white, from what my experiences are. I have a hard time painting white anyhow. I cannot read it like some folks can. It's, I don't know, it's the one color that I hate, hate putting down. It, it's the easiest to cover up issues in the bodywork. Folks have a great day. Kitchen flip side.